գալիս է նման պահեր, որ նույն իսկ արդ է, կնել ու չարդնազալ, չտեսնել ես աժանկյանքը։ Nineteen homeless people died on the streets of Yerevan in December, the majority of which died from the frost. In January, the most well-known homeless person in the city died. His name was Bash, and he used to live with this group. Before his death, Gago and Nelson had already committed suicide. <laughs> But Noro bears no resentment against anyone. Not against his brother, though he sold his house in Zaytun a few years ago because of debts, and nor against his wife and children, who now live in France. At the beginning of the 1990s, Noro participated in military action in Karabakh. He used to be the blacksmith of the detachment. He doesn't like to speak about that time on the battlefield and the years he spent in the service of the military. I used to say to my wife, it's a battle for the nation and I shall participate. However, he doesn't speak about how he lost his family and started to live in the streets but does confess that he understands the meaning of the word bombs. Miko from Spitak was drunk that day, although he suffers from Yerevanian disease and alcohol is prohibited for him. He is a sportsman and was champion of Armenia five times. He is a master of the triathlon. The 32-year-old joined this group of homeless a few months ago. Miko's mother died during the earthquake. His father married for the second time, and his stepbrothers lived in his father's house after he died, while Miko remained on the street. He has been in Yerevan for five years now. <laughs> Ma, I see it's ma. 
Miko has a second group disability status, but does not receive a pension or medicine because he doesn't have the necessary documents. Rafo didn't want to talk to us while Ruzan was irritated and started to talk about the police. A few days before, they had taken her daughter, Mariana, to an orphanage after they found her begging. As we said goodbye, the dogs were waiting for their masters on the open air bed. Along with the vodka, these animals are their only hope for warmth during the cold winter nights. Go hadn't moved for two days. He hadn't eaten anything and hadn't even drunk any vodka. He was in a bad state the day we visited him, repeating from time to time that he would have died if we hadn't. <laughs> Go used to be a producer and actor. He acted in the film Zori Miro and was a producer of many plays. He also participated in the Karabakh conflict, fighting for five years in the Eagle 2, Eagle 4 and Sasnat Zarei groups. He has a second group disability and has been living the life of a vagrant for nine years. In summer, he lives under the trees and in the winter, in the basements. <laughs> Gore has three books of poems and continues to write poetry even here. However, he couldn't recite any of them for us because he couldn't concentrate. Yes, 
ես բարով, բա հետ բարով ես հետո ինչի վրա ես կնելու, գոտ։ Եվ հետո չկա։ Չով չով հաստալ լերում եմ, արենք ես բրնենք։ Արի նստի, հատ էրը, նստի ես կվարեմ, դու նստի, դու նստի, դու նստի չես կարավալ։ Ես գնամ տում։ Չես գնամ։ Գնամ։ Չես գնայլ, մենակ ասում ես, ա։ Չե գնամ։ Դու կտասից հալան դրան բով, ես կրոստեմ ծապսի, որ գնամ տում։ Չկե ես ոչ իչ չուն եմ բաց իր ձերայից։ Իր ձերատել ա մերնել, ուրա իր ձերատ չուն եմ։ Հետեք ես սա կոգրեմ։ Նվե կտող եմ մերնում եմ։ Ուրա որ եմ։ Ես ա կտանում, մի հատ կտանում։ Gore didn't want to remain alone when we said goodbye and asked us to help him send him home to his mother. It was 10 o'clock in the evening. We sent Gore to Burakan in a taxi. A few days later, we heard that Gore was dead. During a previous meeting, Goha had promised us to go to Sevan to spend the remainder of the winter with her mother and son. She is 45 years old and is one of those homeless that live nearby the railway station. She used to live in the Yerubuni district, but in 1993, after her husband's death, decided to leave for Russia, where her sister lives, and sold her house. However, the deal coincided with the deflation of the ruble and the introduction of the Armenian drum. Her property became worthless and Gohar ended up on the streets with her son. They moved to Sevan, where her stepmother lived, but when she started to look for work in Yerevan, she found herself on the streets again. As we were leaving Goha's shelter, she suddenly called us back. She asked if she could ring Sevan so that she could hear her son's voice. Samul! Jag! Samulik! Es or karas gas, te bage! Gides or gas! Gali se skayaran! En hin shukai bazar gides che! Ha, ha, jan! Kagas on the mama nandega! Elapalis! Arabot Michel Kanisika got some job. Fifty-eight-year-old Gagik and his wife Gayane have already been living in the abandoned garage where he used to work for a month now. They've been living in the street, however, for several years. They have seven children and eight grandchildren. Gagik used to work as an engineer and driver for 40 years. He also participated in the Karabakh conflict, fighting in the Hadrut region for three years. He returned from the war with his sight seriously damaged and only one kidney. Kirpenga, Kirpasens, Kotrvesiknes, 
Նա վերեղ կերիս իտ։ Վերեղ է սավարը տվեց իմ ավտել, Մահացավ։ Ես վեր չես ամ, մահաց է ծանտակ, մի պակի։ Մնեն մահացավ։ Մնեն։ Դեկտեմբերի տասներին են։ Ասավ դեկտեմբերի մահացավ, դուրս մնացողները։ Սարեն են, որտեղ։ Ես բանիկա Սիլաչու� Accompanied by the employee of the municipality, we visited the section in the New Barishen Cemetery, allocated for the homeless. There were two newly dug holes. Two more people couldn't stand the cold. The first and last names, along with the date of birth and death, are rarely written on the graves of those that died. Generally, nobody knows who the person lying in the coffin is. They just put a sequential number on the grave, and that's all. Yes, <laughs> Հայլեց նշուլ ուրախության, մայցապսոսվոր երազը։ Հայլեց նշուլ ուրախության, մայցապսոսվոր երազը։ 